Navigated laser therapy is really a term that was developed to describe what's done with what has become the Navilav device. This did not exist in medicine before ODOS developed this machine. And really what it does is it describes a way to take an image of the retina, overlay that onto the living patient's fundus using a fundus camera type of platform, and precisely guide the laser to the areas that one wants to treat. The idea of the navigation is that the doctor is deciding exactly where on the fundus to place the laser based on either an angiogram or an OCT that's uploaded into the actual laser device. There's several advantages. Number one is you can precisely treat vascular structures which are much more difficult to localize using a slit lamp system. We all know that with a slit lamp system, if we're trying to laser microaneurysms and we're looking back and forth from an angiogram through the slit lamp system, it's very difficult to know exactly what we're treating. So I will ask you to look straight into this slide and what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some images of the eye that we are going to treat and uh, those images will serve as a template for creation of a treatment plan. If you will kindly look straight ahead for me and you are doing excellent and stay there, I will use the light of uh, very low intensity and I think we got excellent picture on you. You can lean back and relax. The newest feature of the device is the ability to uh, upload an angiogram from a different machine. So you may have done an angiogram on a different day or in a different office. You can still load that into the system and you can also load OCT. So for the first time you're looking at an image which also includes retinal thickness information. So you can titrate your treatment to the retinal thickness as well as what's leaking. Okay, this is perfect. Okay, and we can see how it's adjusting nicely. Let's do treatment plan on, on FA. And navigated plan will be here. And I think all we need to do is to treat one spot. I think that's all you need. This is like a sniper shot. The laser that is being delivered is being done effectively through a fundus camera type system. You don't need a contact lens if you don't want to use it. And if the patient moves, the image guidance system moves the laser to the point that you have predetermined. So it's much, it's much more precise. It's also much more comfortable for the patient because nothing touches the patient and you're looking at the patient's eye in infrared light so the patient's comfortable. So you see immediately, and that's worth doing, how when you get the image, boom, it locks on. Okay, so if he moves or blinks, it moves with it. You're doing a great job and it'll only treat in the area that we need it to treat. So you're going to hold nice and still. And it's still locked on. Okay. We'll do the color snap. And there, I think we all agree there's a lesion. That's it. All right, John, relax. So how was that? That was it. That was it. That's what they all say. Yeah. So nothing touches you. And I'm looking at you in infrared light, so you're not really seeing it until I take that little color picture which shows me the treatment effect, which was perfect. So that's it. I think we have it a few weeks for the fluid to go away. You're going to take a tiny circle and put it on every aneurysm that you want to treat, and that you can see when the patient is looking in the fundus camera, that image travels with the patient's fundus. And you realize, like if you're an F-16 pilot, that missile is going to go exactly where you want it. So after two or three uses, you gain a lot of confidence. So if the patient blinks or if the patient moves excessively, you can't treat the patient because the Navalaz sees that the fovea has moved at, or that you're treating the no-treat zone, which you mark, which is the fovea or optic nerve. So you're not really worried about the fact that you don't have a contact lens on the eye. I, I prefer this 100% over the Vassin shots. Uh, for me in particular, I, it's very painful. 
Uh, my eyes got very irritated taking the bass, and this was very easy. Is this a one-shot deal? Or? This is one-shot deal, yes. The 100%, I would recommend this uh, procedure any day we're vasting. So clearly anti-VEGF therapy is important in vasculogenic macular edema, particularly diabetes. And the problem with anti-VEGF therapy is the monthly injections. And most studies, whether it's in diabetes or in AMD, seem to indicate that to get optimal effect with anti-VEGF drugs, you have to treat patients very often, something like once a month. And if you back off a lot, you don't get such a good therapeutic effect. Laser, many of us believe, continues to have a role. If you're lasering microaneurysms, which many people don't do anymore, but the Navalaz lets you do it easily, you may actually be able to close the microaneurysms. One of the uh, advantageous features of Navilas is uh, that we can create a complete documentation report at the end uh, of the treatment. And what that entails is uh, an exact information on how many treatment spots have been applied for a particular eye, how much energy was used in total, as well as how much energy was used for a particular laser application. Uh, Navilas can be used to treat uh, patients with peripheral retinal disease, uh, and uh, in that application we do need contact lens, wide-angle contact lens, with which we get uh, a very good uh, view to the periphery. Uh, the treatment is performed in a grid pattern, and uh, it's navigated. We can complete uh, the whole panretinal photocoagulation in five to 10 minutes. So for me, this has a lot of advantages over slit lamp and really no disadvantages. Indeed, I remember as a resident wondering, why do we use this awkward slit lamp thing when the fundus camera shows up everything in great detail, laid out flat, technology has finally caught up. Thank you.